I feel really suck, you know? So I, I had enough, you know, with arguing with them. And so, you know, thank God I have my own corners of the web where I'm able to finish my ultimate rebuttal of everything that those assholes had to say about the whole matter, which is just, you know, they called me whiny and they would say, they said that was how I would be perceived. And they said that I was petulant. So let's deal with that. People who live in glass houses should not throw stones. If it were my decision to make, I would have made the downvoting feature one in which every time you voted down, it automatically played the sound of a child, a crying infant in order to remind people that voting down is infantile and childish. Especially when it's against an innocuous comment like my own. You can see for yourself, you can judge for yourself, you know, whether or not that just my suggestion was so awful it merited a downvote, because I can articulate the same comment to you very easily. All I said was that McDonald's franchise owners, you know, I, I basically recalled the reality that when I wanted to jailbreak my iPhone, I remember having to go through the voided warranty process where they voided mine, and then I just went over to Square Trade, who insured it. And I pointed out that if McDonald's is going to, going to threaten to void people's warranty, the franchise owners are saying Taylor will void their warranty if they use Kitsch. There's always going to be a third party insurance company that would be willing to insure their devices. And for that comment, it was downvoted into oblivion by the Ars Technica crew. So I would like to suggest that, that those acts of vindictive downvoting for no good reason were infantile acts that were childish and, in a word, whiny. Yeah. Don't. Project onto me, you fucking clowns.